This is the Storyteller Overland Mode four-wheel drive adventure van. We're staring at the outside of it right now. We make this build on the Mercedes Sprinter chassis as well as the Ford Transit. They have the same feature set and design. Here on the outside, you can see we've got custom wheels that we've made. They're load rated for anything you'll need to do. Custom off-road tires. On the top, we've got a roof rack and an awning that comes out 10 feet. It's got an LED lighting underneath so you can have a great atmosphere for your outside dining. A ladder on the other side to access the roof rack. Also has 100 watts of solar panels up on the top. It's wired for more if you needed more power. But with the power system we'll show you in a minute, I don't think you will need to upgrade. We've also got this outdoor table, oh, when the door's open, for when you're outside dining. On the inside of the mode, there are a couple things that are special to Storyteller that we'd love to show you. One of them is called our Flex Space and it's our shower system, which I know is all hidden right now, but it's so easy to find in this one cabinet, you'll find our shower bracket. We wanted to make sure we left the space good and flexible, so if it's not something that you need, it's not taking up your space visually, or for storage, or for people, or for whatever you need it for. So it's stuffed away and looks just like the other cabinets. But when it's time for a shower, you open the cabinet, one simple lift reveals the bath pan in the bottom. Our portable toilet stores in there easily for travel. You can use it inside the bath pan if you need it inside the van, or you can take it outdoors and use it somewhere else. But then with a couple of quick releases, your shower's revealed. Yeah. Pretty easy, and if the wind wasn't blowing, it would be straight down. <laughs> and then it quickly disappears when you're done. And you're back to all of your open space. The other thing that is, um, that's unique to Storyteller is what we call our Groove Lounge. This is a special seating component that we've designed. It folds flat into a bed, so you can sleep an additional adult or two children can fit on here. That folds backwards. And this folds forwards, and this one folds forwards to where you get a full, almost twin bed size sleeping situation. And that one, of course, is in addition to your main bedding situation in the back. This is flexible as well. We wanted to keep this space to where you could literally make it work for you and however you need to use your van because everybody in the outdoor space does very different things and we wanted to make sure it worked for whatever it is that you do. So this is the sleeping arrangement or with some quick adjustments. You can have a workspace with just this table down or your other panel folds up as well to completely clear your space. And give you all the storage you need. In the back here, we've got plenty of storage space with an L-Track so that you can tie down your bikes or whatever gear that you're traveling with. Even with the bed down, you can store a bicycle with the front tire off so you can keep them inside so you're not at risk of them getting stolen overnight. For our galley, we have um, an induction cooktop so you can, you know, they're instantly cool. They heat really quickly. We also have the flip top sink And when your work table is down in the back, it's very easy movement to just 
use as your cooking surface and drop right in the pan. We've got storage here as well for all your um, cooking utensils. And then your refrigerator is over here on the side so that it's accessible when you're outside as well. Your controls just inside the door here control your awning as well as the awning lights and then your main cabin lights. So they're easy to reach whether you're sitting down, whether you're outside, whatever's going on. Probably the most exciting thing about the mode um, adventure van is its ability to get completely off grid. You can take this wherever you want and do whatever you want without any danger of running out of power um, at all. The, with the Volta system, we have so much power. You can run your AC all night long, up to 11 and a half hours before you have to recharge it. There's a supercharged alternator on the van, so you're back to 100% charge within an hour and a half. This can literally do anything without any, any worry of running out of the ability to operate everything you need inside. We've got um, a diesel-fired furnace in the Mercedes. The transit is um, gas-operated, and that provides heat as well as heating your water. Here in the back, we have two areas of storage. This side has your battery power system. Your Volta system is enclosed in here. And this side has your fresh water tank. This is also where you'll access your outside shower. If that's something you would like to hook up a shower curtain out here and just use the shower outside instead of the indoor shower. This um, fresh water tank holds 22 gallons of fresh water. The gray water tank is underneath the van and it's heated with a glycol um, loop, <laughs> sorry, a glycol loop so that it never freezes. So it's literally, it's definitely a four season um, camper. You can take it anywhere without risk of anything freezing or getting stuck or anything like that. Thanks for taking a look at the Storyteller Overland mode. We're so excited to see your adventures that you take and hear the stories you have to tell. Josh from Seek Vans. Um, we're here at uh, Expo West, uh, Overland Expo. We're having a pretty good weekend. This weekend's gonna get a little wispy here today. So, but this is one of our, uh, one of our custom vans that we did for a client here. Uh, he's from Phoenix. Uh, he did a lot of exterior fun stuff. Uh, you got a luminous uh, front bumper system, Baja lights in the, in the bumper itself, up on the hood, light bar up on the roof rack, all done on a Switch Pro. Um, you can turn them up, turn them down, pretty cool system. Uh, a luminous roof rack, Fiamma awning on the top. Did the hood wrap large winch in the front, I think it's 5500. Black rental wheels and tires, uh, Baja kit, suspensions front and rear, both. Uh, small lift on this van. It's got the uh, luminous ladder, of course. Lights all the way around as well, perimeter lights. The uh, rigid um, A-series, if you can see those, those are actually wired into the frame of the, of the van. All perimeter around the whole van as well. Really cool, cool light. Again, more luminous fun stuff on the back. We've got uh, luminous rear bumper swing arm assembly uh, with the bike rack, which is something that we worked with the luminous on. It was, it was a great, uh, a great addition to that rack. They do have a 2019 version as well. Uh, boxes, um, one-up bike racks in the back. Has an onboard air compressor system on the on the back. You can see the nozzle there. That's the one in the rear. There's also one in the front. Again, Fiamma awnings, you see those a lot. That's not uncommon. Again, the idea to put the Fiamma awning with the rigid lights underneath so you can get some nice ambient light underneath the awning when it's deployed. If you go inside of the van, you can see the seat that's sitting out here. This is a removable jump seat that's real popular. We do a lot of those. Um, we're working on a couple different brands for that as well with that in a, and the, the Shiomon seats that are also on the inside. So custom Shiomon, um, seats that swivel on the Alpine swivel which is really nice offset 
Um, obviously the track that you can turn this, this client wanted to have um, basically a built-in office station. So this, this thing rolls out on a lagoon table, which are real popular. You see those in a lot of vans, but it turns into is that chair comes in here and it's his mobile, mobile, uh, mobile station there. He has uh, like fire rescue stuff. So he, this is his workstation. Sets his uh, printer back there, laptop up on top and he's rolling. He also did go with the, uh, he's, you know, here down here in the desert. So it has a uh, split unit AC, DC, con DC operated battery controlled. This is the AC, the condenser's under the vehicle, not on top. So it doesn't take up the space on the top of the van. Fine little cabinets, things like that. Um, goal zero powers all the uh, um, AC, you know, the, the 110 appliances, microwaves, induction stoves, laptops, computers, etc. Um, he has RC cars, the fun stuff to do like that. One uh, signature thing that you see with sync vans, let me get, it, get that in this photo, but we have our uh, retractable day bed. It's on a rack and pinion system that attracts out into a full queen. Then it goes back into a little day bed, have a nice glass of wine, read a book, coffee, engage, super chill, nice, nice area. 10 by 33 windows on the side, vented, very common in vans, but um, ours are well detailed, all insulated with, all our all our glazing is insulated shades. Very simple control panels. Um, you'll see that a lot with sync vans. We're not, we're trying to simplify your life, not make it more complicated, so you don't get a lot of complexity with controls. That's why you see the goal zero. Let those guys do what they do best. We want to do what we do best, and that's make the interiors all nice, put the money where it's important and keep the systems where they're isolated and separate and not overpowering each other. So yeah, you got tanks, uh, this guy's heat and hot water. Um, obviously uh, heat and AC both. You see this a lot in sink vans is the uh, portable refrigerator um, and the Yeti cooler pullout. We do do full, you know, full built-in uh, refrigerators such as isotherm, isotherm, the Cruise 80, 85s are our favorite. And this thing is designed to, that thing goes right in if you chose that option. But the cooler portable fridge is is is, is great. Portable fridges last, you know, four to five times longer than built-ins because they're well insulated and don't need the power draw. Um, got a portable uh, cassette toilet, Dometic. Awesome, five gallons, easy dump. Uh, no electronics, no, just simple. Everything is, is trying to stay simple. On the complex side, our cabinet guys are, are awesome. Um, we use our Blum hardware, Legger boxes. These are metal boxes. So when you forget to basically, you know, get that thing strapped in when you take it on the road, if it pops out, it's not going to blow up. Those are really, really bomber drawers. Uh, same in the uppers, Blum hardware, all adjustable. You know, if things get out of, it, out of adjustment. All our cabinets are structurally, structural ply carcasses. And on the outside is a high grade, MDF that doesn't turn. Everyone complains about the MDF, but MDF does not warp when vans that get to 160, 180 degrees when they're sitting out in the hot sun. So these things will stay tried and true and they're absolutely scratch resistant and bomb proof. We, we love this. You can get totally fun, playful, and have a great time inside of this thing and have it just pick your colors and get really timeless and classic, or you can do it like this gentleman did and go orange and have, have a ball with it. So. It all depends on what your uh, what your taste is and what you're looking for. Um, Jay, my partner, is great at design and great at getting you where you need to be to find your find your taste. This man also he has a two-way radio system. He also put in a uh, we've got a um, really high-end stereo subwoofer um, Focal uh, system. It it really rocks. It's a great system. Tip out tray. Storage shelves. Um, this is really popular. You see these long vans. There's a few people that make these. Ours are, are actually wrapped to the same material that you select. Um, lighting, we have really cool. It's a yacht lighting system. It's all dimmable, you know, really soft touch, tap momentary, touch and hold. Lights up, you know, pick your spot. It will remember the last spot and it'll stay there. It, it, whatever you want to do. Touch and hold, dimmable reading lights in the back. Just a very, very elegant, elegant way to light up the van. That is a Mac track that we put on the top. We actually are changing that system. Uh, our new system is going to be a, basically a drop down 
There's going to be a, um, a track uh, we're working with another company to put in our own accessories. So you'll be able and you can put your own stuff in it too. But it basically, you want to hang coat hooks. You want to hang, you know, we have working with Fidlock. Fidlock is a, is a strap company that's magnetically clasped. You can take your camel back or your bike backpack and it'll just magnetically snap up and you can put it wherever you want. So this will be a total flex wall. Uh, so we're getting away from the Mack track. This stuff's made for the floor, not for the ceiling. So the rear of our vans have the um, outdoor shower, hot water shower. You'll get your hose, quick release hose that go in there. I think it's pretty common. Some, a lot of builders are doing that. Um, we do the vertical uh, storage for the Mack track with ski racks. This guy has the tr tracks for there. Lots of storage underneath. This one is extra wide and very, very narrow because he has a massive amount of uh, lithium storage for the onboard AC unit, the battery powered AC unit. Got a massive subwoofer back here as well, so it's taking up a little bit more room, but he didn't want to, you know, he's not packing a lot back here with the storage boxes in the back and a roof rack without the AC unit on it gives him a lot more storage space. So thanks for coming by. Thanks for looking at Sync Vans. Uh, you can find us on Instagram, Facebook, our website at syncvans.com and check us out. Check out of our models. We've got a lot of different models, a lot of new things coming up. 2019 we're excited about. So look forward to hearing from you. So without doubt for me, this rig here had to be the most exciting sprinter conversion at Overland Expo. This is obviously Yabba Dabba Doo, their latest sprinter conversion, and you are greeted with an extremely unique mosaic looking design that shows off the bright summer colors. And with this on your hood, you are definitely going to get some looks. It also features KC headlights on the bottom and up top when you need that extra power when you go off road. On each side of the sprinter, you also get power steps. Yep, not on one side, but on both, which even means the passenger side gets one too. I think that's new on the 2019 models. Of course, you have to have some mean tires on this thing, and it's kitted out with Evo Course Descartes Zero wheels. If we swing around to the back, you are greeted with some serious mountain bike goodies. On this Sprinter conversion, you get a bike repair stand, which is attached to the back door, a ton of rear storage systems, an outdoor sound system, fork mount kits to keep your bike in the van, a built-in pump, and even a place to wash you and your bike down with clean water. Now moving on to the interior. Nomad Vans has done a seriously great job here, and I can hands down say that they have one of the most creative conversions out of the whole expo. This thing was neat, it was tidy, had attention to detail, and it actually felt like a home, which some conversion companies sometimes miss, especially ones that focus on, let's say, outdoor sports. Coming into the main door, you are greeted with what I'm calling the best part of this conversion. Built into the floor is a shower drain, which basically allows you to pop up a portable shower, take a shower, drain yourself, and then it all goes into this floorboard here. Some van dwellers don't like to shower outdoors because let's face it, nobody wants to see our pride and joy. So Nomad Vans took the initiative to place a shower inside with minimal design, and I can tell you something, I really, really love it.
Here's a quick peek at the electrical system too. I don't know too much about this, so I'll let the owner take you through it. Uh, but first of all, I need to apologize about the audio. With, with, instead of that control panel, it's now controlled by the uh, iPad. Um, so this is a brand new um, integration from Victron Energy and uh, it's new for us and probably new for Victron in a van. So we're pretty, and then underneath that iPad is a, a hidden charger for the iPad. Right, yeah. Um, and so, so this is the control for the hot water and for the heater, our inverter and again our custom control panel and our fresh water and gray water monitoring Moving on to the kitchen area, which I must add has quite a lot of space, you get a ton of storage here. And then there's a freezer built into the cabinets itself, which I haven't ever seen before in a conversion. And it comes with this neat little diesel single burner cooktop plus a sink. Now our main man Ruben will show you how to drop down the bed and fold it back up again. Don't forget though, your mountain bike can still fit under here too, keeping it safe when you're parked up. So there you have it, a quick tour around Yabba Dabba Do, the 2019 Sprinter conversion by Nomad Vans. Hey, it's Eric with Tour Rig, we're down here at Overland Expo West on the west side. And we're featuring a couple of our newest uh, builds. I'm from Tour Rig, we're based out of Golden, Colorado. Uh, the first model we have on display here is called Chief Hosa. And the Chief Hosa fe features an upgraded high performance suspension system, a combination between Agile, Off-Road and Van Compass. You'll see the front coil over body with the Fox 2.0 up front, running on a 33-inch tire, 18-inch KMC, alloy wheels. Heading back this way, amp power step, retractable on the side for easy ingress, egress into the van. On the upper deck, we have our proprietary patented uh, design, flat pack, modular roof rack system, the lightest, quietest roof rack system on the market. Uh, 170 uh, full rack comes in at 75 pounds and uh, built-in aerodynamics, so it's uh, super quiet. This van features a Victron Energy 400 amp hour lithium system uh, powered by solar up top. We couple that with a Rixon hydronic hot water furnace, 30 gallons of fresh water in the back. You can see our really nice uh, LED lighting package in here to include floor lighting, above cabinet, below cabinet, ceiling lights, all dimmable on their own zones, of course. In the back, we have our electric uh, power assist table. So this table drops down with the touch of a button, lowers down to here, the cushions come out and create a bed for two, a queen size bed. Hot, cold water out the back, shower, of our portable shower that we have clips into the doors and gives you full enclosure for an outside shower, um, which could then be taken inside the van as well and used inside. Back door features our, features our new flat pack modular uh, ladder system. Once again, super light, packs flat for easy shipping, easy installation, and then easy removal if need be with four pins 
gets you up onto our roof rack system and uh, easy access to the roof utility and storage. I'm gonna come on inside, we'll take a look at what's inside this thing. So in this van, uh, it features our what we call the luxury liner cabinet, cabinetry series. Um, these are a foam core with true wood veneer and hardwood inlays on all corners. So it's a very light, stable platform for wood. Generally, wood can be heavy and unstable. Um, in this case, it is a foam core product. Um, very, very durable, very light, very stable. Again, under cabinet, above cabinet lighting. All of our lighting and electronics are controlled through a system called Firefly. And Firefly works with our lithium battery pack in the back. It can control all the electronics, heating, cooling uh, in this van. So back to the heating system, once again, Rix and Hydronic, coupled with a King Tech 12 volt air conditioner on top with our proprietary auto start system. So when the battery gets drained down to a set parameter, the engine will automatically start, start charging the batteries on a dual alternator system. And then once it gets to a high set parameter, it'll kick off, keeping you cool and, and uh, climate controlled. Single burner, true induction cooktop, stainless steel, Isotherm 130 drawer fridge packed with hot dogs today. Lots of ample storage in the lower cabinetry. Nice stainless steel nine inch deep sink. Uh, stainless steel uh, hot and cold faucet. Again, push button control for the bed. So when you want to convert it at night, it slides, it goes down. The cushions move over and create a bed. Four place setting with seat ascent collapsible cookware <laughs> and custom tour and koozies. Over here we have our uh, retro 1950s era custom bar and soda stream. So the cocktails can be flowing <laughs> nonstop. Uh, behind the seat, you have a 2.5 gallon removable Dometic cassette toilet. Hidden, but there when you need it. Tour rig custom uh, storage pockets throughout. And of course, tour rig custom cup holders throughout this van. In the front here, we have our Katsuki upholstered leather seats. Uh, the rear two feature, feature um, seven weight comfort, footrest, massage, heat, recline, the whole deal. So whoever's riding back here has got the best seats in the house for long road trips. Custom upholstered headliner and cab area. Aluminum cargo shelf with custom lighting up top. And then for entertainment for the kiddos going down the road, we have our Ram mount uh, iPad holder for an iPad Pro 13 so the kids in back can watch their favorite movies while going down the road on surround sound. Yeah, these are... Uh, these are our, our tour rig um, window shades. We have two versions. Um, this is our, our original classic version. So they can be uh, installed in the van, left in place, and then brought up during the day, halfway, partway, the full way. Or, you know, if you just want a little ventilation for the lower T vents, and then for full blackout and thermal property, this guy comes down to the bottom and tucks in and uh, gives you full coverage set into our wall panels. How you doing? It's Brian from Outside Van. This is Apex. Let's take you on a little bit of a tour. We're really excited about this design. I mean, this is our perfect gear hauler. No matter what sport you're into, no matter whether you're going uh, out with your motorcycle, skiing, snowboarding. This thing can even fit a four-wheeler. With the two bunks on the side and the Mack Track system, um, I mean, this is the perfect transformer. Works for any activity. Over here, you're gonna have your compressor, which is amazing when you're uh, dusting off your gear after on the trail. Skiing, you can clean off your snowmobile. Um, we've definitely had snowmobiles in here. Everything fits really well. Uh, functionality is what we're all about at Outside Van. We have the XO cabinet up top. You can put your ski gear. We have our stuff sacks on the back. 
which work really well. As you can tell, they hold all the, the, the essentials when you're out camping. This floor is really, really pretty bulletproof. I mean, we're driving vehicles on it. Um, it's easy to clean. Uh, again, with the compressor, you can just spray it out. Really nice. If you take a look back, you can see our this rooftop tent that we put on here from Free Spirit. Um, our main goal with this build is to get all the guys, all the girls, the whole crew out onto the trail or out to the mountain and be able to put your gear inside and still have sleeping space for everybody. Up front, you can fit three driving. So in here, you could have two sleeping on the bunks and one up top. Um, it depends on how you want to orient your sleeping, but you can fit three people in this vehicle, which is, and all your gear, which is, which is great. So if you take a look in the slider, we have our ARB fridge holding our, all your goodies when you're out and about. We have Mac track pretty much everywhere in this vehicle, just so that way, you know, when you're four wheeling or when you're out um, going off trail, your gear isn't moving around too much. We even have a winch right here. This is to pull up your snowmobile, your four wheeler, whatever it may be. It's mounted in there and it works really well from Warren, another uh, Portland company. All right, so we're really proud of our power systems and this vehicle is a great example of that. Uh, we have two AGM batteries at the core of this vehicle. And then up top, we have a 130 watt solar panel from Zamp that really charges the vehicle. And I mean, you're able to work a Vitamix. That's pretty impressive. There's, that's a lot of power. You can see your, your uh, Zamp solar, solar charge controller there, your heater, Webasto heater. Um, I mean, this vehicle has all your essentials that you need to hold all your gear and all your, all your buddies. With this vehicle, we had a couple partnerships we're really excited about. Down here, we put 18 inch Black Rhino Warlords. Um, we have a great partnership. We, we love those guys. Um, another exciting thing, I mentioned the Zamp solar panel earlier, that 130 watt from Zamp. They're fantastic. One thing that, that makes us stand out against some of the competition is our hardware and our metalwork that we put into our vehicles, we do in-house. Everything is designed by us. Everything is custom by us. If a customer comes to us and wants something special, we create that in-house and meet our customers' demands, which is fantastic. I mean, this is full custom, right? So we're talking front bumper, combo rack up top that's holding uh, the high slight bar, even all the way to the side with your ladder. We make this all in-house. It's all seamless, looks nice, and fits well. With this build, we partnered with Free Spirit Recreation out of Bend. They, they helped us out and we put this, uh, this tent on top. It's automatic. It retracts up and down. I slept in it last night, really comfortable. We just, it, it just expands the living space. I mean, vans can only be so big and expands that living space and gives you more sleeping. It's essential. One of our calling cards at Outside Van is our signature vinyl wrap. It's our topography that's kind of a geo topography that, that is a signature to us. Um, it's from locations that we've traveled to. So a lot of the vans have a unique vinyl wrap on them. We're really excited about. Um, not only is it aesthetically pleasing, but it also helps with rock chips and everything while you're out on the road. All right, thanks for watching. This is Apex, one of our latest builds. Really excited about it. Uh, if you want to check us out, go to OutsideVan.com and you can see hundreds of builds on our new website. Really excited. Thanks for watching.
controls. So that's the inverter, and then to the right is oh, wow. our custom um, control panel, which is made to, by our, to our specifications. And then the control to the right hand lower corner is the monitor for the fresh water and the gray water. So if you push any button, it'll show you the the monitor of the tanks. And then I always hide under here the controls for um, for the cooktop. This is the dump for the drain for the sink, mm -hmm. and um, and also for dumping the gray water. I don't like to see the controls. Out. No, I agree. Putting them away is a very nice feature. And then uh, these builds, um, it has the what I call the Sweet Dreams package. So it's like a custom latex matrix with the frilly springs underneath. Right. For, and then the rear is uh, a new for us. It's a, a soft wall with a mosquito netting that can, um, so if you want, he wanted to, you can open up the rear doors and allow for extra ventilation. we always put a little bit of ambient lighting kind of like in a airplane I guess yes very nice I personally really dig the white look and the dog was there, the family was there as well. It was just a great little place to see how they live and what Nomad Vads has done as a conversion. So. <laughs> This is a 2011 Mercedes Sprinter, long wheelbase 170. We've got the max fan on the roof with our custom roof rack up there as well. You can see the hammocks, which are really good for the summer. Um, we are storing our surfboard around the other side of the van. So we've got the swivel tables, which are really good for um, outdoor socializing or cooking. Got a little hidden storage compartment here. So we've got swivel seating in all of the cab area. This helps to create a really good social space, dining space, or office space. Got 
got the USB charging points, um, 240 power. We've got really good storage under these seats. Got the opening portholes there, which are really good for ventilation. It's a storage space. We made the custom shelf of the Wave. We really like these quirky little touches. Got the little mini chalkboard in the corner. And we've got the secret drawers. Just trying to make use of every inch of space available. So we added another drawer behind the seat as well. Okay, so we've got the shoe cupboard here. You can probably fit about six pairs of shoes in there. We've got the wine bottles, which is the most important thing. <laughs> and the bungee ropes, help them come and stop them falling out whilst driving. We've got the wood for the burner. And then around the other side, we've got a cupboard for glasses. So we added homely touches. We've got some plants there and um, the nice rustic wood that we got from the local sawmills. Things like adding bungee ropes around items really help to keep things from rustling around whilst driving. We've got the bin here for chopping items. magnet strips inside the drawer again just help things stay in place and the grip matting Okay, so here's the shower area in the bathroom. We've got a urine diverting toilet system. We've got copper pipe that hold the toothbrushes in place. And we use metal drinking straws in the recess to help hold things in. We've got a storage area under the step up to the bed. We've then got a single bed, which my daughter calls her little den bed. It's a great little space. And then on top of that, we've got a double bed. It's actually I think a king size at the foot end and a double at the head end. Okay, so we'll just move around to the back and um, yeah, we've got a custom rack that I said about earlier with the ladder. So we can access our solar panels. We've got 480 watts of solar on the roof. And we've got a little viewing deck up there as well. So if we're somewhere with nice views, we can climb up there. We've got the skylight, which opens up. It's good for stargazing, letting light into the bedroom area. We've also got USB points in the bedroom. 
charging things at night. We've also got a laptop storage area, which is just above the light there. Again, just the homely little touches of some plants. I think really make the, um, the van feel like home. We made a surfboard um, wooden panel in the back and we hang all our laundry on there. We've also got a 70 litre water tank, which is good for going off grid. We don't have to fill up that often. We've got the diesel heater and all of the electrics and utilities over that side. We kept it all open. We like to be able to see the electrics and the workings of the van and then we have an instant hot water heater for showers and for the sink in the kitchen. We've got a recess in the back door for books and cups. When the door is closed, we can take the shower off and that acts as part of the bedroom area. Got a flip down table and underneath we have a chalkboard. Thank you for watching guys and if you need any van conversion advice head over to our Instagram page Van Life Builds or over on YouTube.